Hello, this is Perry Peacock with Wilderness Innovation and uh, I'm here today to show you uh, how to make a backpacking water heater. Uh, we've had a quite a few views and quite a few uh, comments and requests from people so uh, I figured I'd show you how to make this thing. Um, there's a video on YouTube about it. This, this one right here was made uh, I think in 82 or 83 so it's pretty old and uh, it's still hanging around consists of a metal funnel and a can with a, a lid on the top. we got a tube that comes down into the bottom and then this is our, our tube that uh, the hot water comes out of. And uh, so that's basically what it is. It's pretty simple. But uh, I'll just show you how to, how to make the thing. First of all, all you need, and you can make it any size you want. Uh, this works well with uh, you know, if you got a few people up to maybe uh, 10 people or something like that, this this will work very well. This is 48 inch size. You need some copper tubing, half inch, three quarters, it doesn't matter, whatever you want. I need a tubing cutter, a hacksaw, uh, some kind of a drill, a hole saw or something like that. Or you can even use tin snips to cut a couple holes. Um, you need some solder, uh, <clears throat> which is... Uh, basically no lead, you know, designed for food applications. And I'm going to try something a little bit different on the front here, which I'll show you uh, for that stop. And you'll need, a, you'll need some kind of a, a, a propane torch or something like that to solder the can with. And I'm going to, I didn't do it before, but I'm going to use the, uh, some radiator high temperature stuff's rated for 1200 degrees. I'm going to spray the, the thing with that when I'm all done. Okay, this, I'm going to cut the top off of this. Get that and see how that works. Uh, I got this can opener that I thought was supposed to cover, cut right into the, uh, to the lip right here. But then I just tried it out a little bit ago and it actually cuts below there. So it really is not going to do exactly what I wanted it to. But. I guess we'll just have to live with it. <clears throat> All right, the next step here, I've taken the label off and got the top. I've cleaned out the inside. Now I'm going to drill a I'm going to drill a hole in the side here for my for my spout. And I'm just going to put a couple shims in there and a two before. That'll be close enough. And then I've got a step bit here that I'm going to use. And it's, it's not real critical. You want to be as close to the top as you can be, though, but somewhere in here. And I just want to keep trying it a little bit. This thing steps one at a time here. That right in there. Oh, actually, I was going to do this different. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. I want to do it just a hair larger because I'm going to try a removable style. That's good. I want it a little bit tight. Okay. Makes it work a little better. And here again, we're not really critical where we go here, just somewhere. Working on this deal here. This is basically a three-quarter inch to half inch coupling and uh, I just want to put that in there. I can solder that in and my theory is although I mean I, I've gotten by with it over the years fine just packing it in my bag like that but I thought it'd be nice where I could pull the, the spout out and just drop it in there and it, I just thought well that'll pack up a little nicer like that so so that's my idea there. And my, I drilled a hole that's a little bit tight, so I had to kind of work at it a little bit. And uh, you may want to wear a pair of gloves or something. Or, but my, the edges on this aren't sharp, so I'm all right. But I just kind of worked it in there, and it kind of flared it out a little. So I, I can't even get that thing out as it is. 
I could probably leave it like that and it'd be fine, but anyway. So that's my part of my spout, and I'm going to take my tubing cutter here. And I'm just going to cut me a little spout piece here. up into there so I'll give me a removable spout and I think it's gonna be a tight enough fit I don't think that'll be a problem so I like that already I like that and when I go somewhere I just drop that in there okay now I need to work on a, a piece for the lid and that piece needs to be somewhere somewhere close to the bottom something probably about like I don't know, about like that. That'll be fine. <clears throat> Alright, I've cut my piece. That's going to be real nice. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to force this through this lid here. I don't know, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Just, there we go. So I made, see, I made that hole just a little bit small. And I just want to force that up through there just a tiny bit, the way I can saw it around here. And then that thing will just sit right on there. What I'm going to do here is just kind of hit the outside a little bit. Get warmed up real good. I'm going to try to. That's all there is to it. That just this uh, everything got hot enough when that solder flowed, it just flowed all the way around, and I'm putting heat on it from the back side, and that kind of pulls it into the back. So, so there we are. Nice little solder job. I like I said, I'm not a professional here, but this will work. This will be good for another 25 years or so. Alright, I um, just decided I'm not going to paint it black all the way up. So I just got some of this uh, painter's quick release tape. I'm going to paint the bottom real good and then the side up to there. And I think I'll leave the top of it silver. Alright. We're all taped up here. and Because I shouldn't really be messing up my cutting area for my fabric and I'm not a professional painter either so I'm not a professional in any of this stuff but you know hey it's fun alright now I can just let that dry and I'll be in good shape alright guys here we are from a, about a 1982 or 83 model. Uh, so, you know, we're talking pretty old there. Yeah, time, but. Anyway, here's our new one. Painted the bottom and part way up here. And I'll probably make a little pouch to put this in to put in my pack. So, anyway, very nice, very nice little deal. Less than 10 bucks, about 15, 20 minutes to make it. And you're good to go. Perry Peacock Wilderness Innovation, where we make everything simple, especially survival. Simplifying survival, that's our motto. See you on the next one. Bye.